All right, this is my next piece. It's going to be a, a bucking horse piece. I'm not sure what the title is going to be. And uh, right now I got a. I'm switching back to uh, my J Mac clay, and I've had this heating up underneath the uh, lamp overnight. And uh, now I'm going to start chopping it up using my drywall tool and uh, resupplying my bucket here. Time to play with some clay. I just received a box of clay from uh, Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado, where they sell everything a sculptor would ever, ever need. So if you need anything from for sculpting, contact Sculpture Depot. They sell uh, true form armatures, which are pre-made foam, hard foam, human and horse armatures, which are extremely helpful if you're just starting out. Of course, you still have to use your sculptural abilities to put the muscles and uh, all the other stuff. But that's a big help to have an armature pre-made and ready to go. All right, be right back after I get this cut up and uh, see what we got to do here. All right, the uh, figure is uh, scaled for this size of a horse. And uh, it was going to be another piece, and so was this. But I never throw anything away. I always put it in a box or something and save it for another time. And that's what's going on here. Now, I'm going to put this aside until I get to it. For now, I'm going to take this horse, which was going to be a part of a stampeding horse piece of uh, three horses. And I decided to uh, put it aside about a year ago, I think. I don't know. It's been months since I last worked on this one. Um, I don't like the head on this horse. Uh, I like a head, the head I did on another, and one of the other ones I did. And I've got to redo the angle of the neck and the head and all that stuff and the, the body of the horse. And uh, for me to do that, I've got to start taking the base apart, which is clay, and uh, rework things because I want to make this look like a horse has gotten a burr under its saddle and uh, he's a bit uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to uh, remove the uh, support for the horse because i got to completely change his leg positioning. Well, I might just leave this one where it's at. this one I'm going to change. This is where this angled drill bit comes in handy because I can't possibly get to that screw with, without it. Yeah, it's been years since I've done a uh, Bronc Bronco piece or bucking horse piece. And uh, it's just time. Now, the problem with using a clay that has already been sculpted 
in one position and trying to change it into another position is you've got to redesign everything. And now I got that. I've got to put this leg back further. That's why I'm uh, doing all this anyway. All right, it's time to change the angle of this leg, which means I've got to do the whole thigh and uh, I'm going to have to cut it using a, a flame to heat up my blade so I can. Okay, I like this horse's head much more than I like the one I did on the horse I'm working on. And so I'm going to pirate this head off of here and put it on the uh, horse that I'm currently tearing apart. This is, this is stressful because I'm taking apart two horses that actually were pretty darn good. And, uh, but they weren't being used for what I was going to use them for. So I figured, what the heck? I used one of the three horses for the uh, Jim Bridger bronze that I made. And it turned out dynamite. Now I just need to make use of this horse. Mm. Now his shoulder is going to be pushed down. His legs are going to be stiff. The chest of this horse is too big as well, so I'm going to make that a lot narrower. So we'll cut this right there out. I'm not throwing any of this clay away. I'm going to reuse it. The shoulders. I'm going to bring the shoulders down. Got to cut that head off.
the reason I have the head attached to a piece of wire is because I worked on it separate from the horse, if you remember. Okay. That head's gone. Now I gotta lower his shoulders, which means I'm gonna have to completely loosen him up from the uh, main armature. And uh, try to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Of course, I'll have to re-sculpt these shoulders, but that's okay. And re-sculpt the legs as well. What I'm doing is heating up the armature for the new neck and the head. I'm going to jam it inside the body of the horse. There we go. Just takes patience. There we go. I'm going to let that solidify a little bit. Okay. Now the neck is going to be an extreme low angle about there the horse's head okay I'm gonna cut that off right there okay I'm liking the angles and everything I think it's gonna be it's gonna work out good all right I got my jig set up so I can do the horse head and uh, I'll work on that starting tomorrow I uh, smashed the eye over the last year or so, and uh, gonna have to redo that eye, but that's no big problem. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. Try to make this a good piece. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.